We're looking at chapter 3b, and this has to deal with the effects of weather on small unmanned aircraft performance. The two direct dominant factors on aircraft performance are going to be density and temperature. So you're going to hear a lot about this in this section. We have density altitude. We're going to start off with that one. So density altitude. It is the density at a specific altitude. We look at the altitude in the standard atmosphere, and it's corresponding to a particular value of air density. So think of the surface level up to space, and you have atmospheric like levels, right? So when we look at altitude, which is kind of the easiest thing to picture from the surface up to space, you have different altitudes, right? There's gonna be di different pressures at each altitude. So as air density increases, that is at a lower density altitude and aircraft performance increases. Now as air density decreases, that means the air is less dense, this is at a higher density altitude, it's higher up, and aircraft performance is going to decrease. So the higher up you go, your aircraft will, it'll take more energy to perform, versus when it's lower, it doesn't have to exert so much energy. The more up you go, there's less air, so it's less efficient. The more down you are, there's more air, and you're more efficient. Air density is going to be affected by altitude, temperature, and humidity. High density altitude, up more, is thin air. Low density altitude, you're lower, it's more dense air, thicker air. So what are the conditions in high density altitude? You might be asked this. The conditions resulting and in high density altitude are high elevations, right? So high density altitude, your altitude is high, so you're up higher, higher elevations. You're gonna have low atmospheric pressure, we just talked about that. Uh, heat rises, you can think about it like that. And so you're gonna have a high temperature as you go up and associate with a high temperature with high humidity. High humidity is also going to be high. Now what about conditions resulting in low density altitude? So that's going to be lower on your height. Well, that means low elevations, you have low atmospheric pressures, and that means your aircraft is going to perform better. Now remember, heat rises, so that means you're going to have low temperatures and low humidity. Now let's look at these different subsections. First, the effects of pressure on density. When air is compressed, it's cold, and it's more dense. When the air pressure is decreased, or it's less, it's hot, and molecules, they don't like to be around each other. So they move around, it's less dense. Now let's look at the effects of temperature on density. If you increase temperature, you're decreasing your density. If you're decreasing temperature, you're increasing density. So we can say that the density of air varies inversely to temperature. Now for the effects of humidity, which is moisture on density. As water in the air increases, the air is going to become less dense. This is going to increase your density altitude. If there's more water in the air, it's going to decrease performance, right? Because if you increase your density altitude, your altitude increases, you decrease your performance. Remember that warm air holds more water vapor and cold air holds less. So the higher up you go, the warmer the air is, the more water is in the air, the less your aircraft is going to perform well. And if you're lower down, cold air, hold less water vapor, your aircraft performance is going to increase. Now speaking of performance, the next video will be just about performance.